to you who admire the luminous sun deep within the sky. Realize your own luminosity. You are so brilliant that in front of it, the sun will not even be visible. This is how brilliant you are, O son of Adam. Do you know where you have come from? You have come from the most lofty one who has breathed inside you of his own spirit. Do you know your standing, O man? The one who wastes his life in the acquisition of wealth. Do you know your standing? The angels of God who make this world are prostrated before you. This is what you are. If only you could understand your own status. This world of, this life, this world is a great opportunity for you to peel away all these layers of false personality and allow that beauty to radiate and to shine. But the mistake the son of Adam is making is he is looking for God where? Inside the Kaaba. But can God live inside the Kaaba? Ask yourselves. He is looking for God in the hereafter. But the God is saying in the Quran, if you don't find me in this world, you will be raised blind in the hereafter. The God that you are seeking, O son of Adam, awaits your awakening to him deep within yourself. Where has he been? And when has he been away from you? As Hussein says, O Lord, when were you away from me that I needed to come close to you? You were always near. It was I who was oblivious of your proximity. It is this awakening that we need to bring about within ourselves that makes this world so trivial and yet so profound in the opportunity that it presents. You see, the Prophet's success was because he transcended these limitations. If the Prophet was inflicted with these cancers that you we were inflicted with, that I like this and I hate this, do you think he would have been such a supreme human being? Do you think he would have been such a champion that he was? Look at the great Isa, look at Musa, look at Ibrahim, look at Nuh, look at the greatest of them all, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These people had arrived at that untarnished beauty within themselves. It was that beautiful light of God that embraces all. The colorless light that gives all colors. The languageless language that pronounces every word the directionless direction towards whom everything converges.